And before this video starts, guys, we're hosting a giveaway for two lifetime SynapseX keys. Now, SynapseX is one of the best paid executors out there. So if you do want a chance to win, of course, just head down into the description below where you'll find a link to our Discord server. Once you do join the Discord server, head over to the verified channel. Once you're into the verified channel, go ahead and click on this button right here, which says click to verify, and that will give you the verified role. Then you can head down into the giveaways channel and you'll see the two giveaways right here. Now, of course, if you're subscribed to the channel, you will be able to enter the bottom giveaway right here. But if you do want to increase your chances of winning, then you can boost the server. So if you do have Nitro, you can simply boost the server. And of course, you will be able to enter the giveaway on top as well. So good luck to everyone that does enter the giveaway. Now, let's get back into the video. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Fluxus Roblox Executor. So as you might know, a lot of the executors currently have been patched. And of course, the developers are working really hard to get them up and running again. But Fluxus is currently working and it is, of course, a free executor that you can download right now from the description below. If you do have any issues with it, feel free to join the Discord server in the description to ask for support, okay? Um, now, let's get into the video. The very first thing, as you might know, that you need to do is, of course, disable your antivirus. And it really depends on which antivirus you're currently using. As of right now, Fluxus, I believe, only works on Windows 10 and 11. And on Windows 10 and 11, the default antivirus will be Virus and Threat Protection or the Windows Defender. Um, that is pretty much made by Microsoft. Um, so if you are running on Windows 10 and 11, then all you have to do is come over onto this icon right here. If you're on Windows 11, it will be this icon. And if you're on Windows 10, it will be in this corner right here. Or you can press your Windows key on your keyboard to bring it up like this. Over here, just go ahead and search for virus and threat protection, just like that. Go into manage settings and over here, make sure this is toggled off. Okay, so it's currently off just like that. So when you go into this option, it might look something like this. Make sure you turn it off. Okay, um, and if it does give you a little prompt to approve it, just go ahead and click on yes. And that would disable the antivirus for me. I've got it to manually turn on, but we're sorted now and it is off. Okay, so once you do turn it off, what you want to do next is, of course, go into the description and download Vinra if you don't already have it. Again, it's a free program. Once you do get onto the um, download page, all you have to do is go ahead and click over here. Choose the download location. So for me, I've got desktop. You can click save and then just go ahead and go through the um, installation process. I've already got the program, so I don't need to install it again. Um, so once you do do that, then you can download the Fluxus Executor from the description. It will look something like this. If you do have Venra installed, it will be like a bookshelf. Okay, then from there, all you have to do is right click it and make sure you go onto Venra. Okay, don't click on extract tool or anything like that. Just go over to Venra and click on extract to Fluxus, just like that. And it will create a new folder for you, uh, which is going to be an unzipped folder. Then you can go ahead and delete this folder. You no longer need it. Then you want to go back into your virus and threat protection scroll down to exclusions and this is really important that you do that okay so scroll down to exclusions go ahead and click on add an exclusion choose folder and then choose where you have the fluxus folder okay so for me it's on my desktop and then it's right here okay and then you want to go ahead and single click and make sure you don't double click it which will open up that folder just go ahead and single click that folder and go ahead and click on select folder and then you should see that folder added to your exclusions okay then you can of course go back into virus and threat protection and then you can turn on your real-time protection okay and it will start um working again your windows defender will be working and you don't have to worry about the executor getting deleted okay um now if you're not using virus and threat protection or the windows defender then you need to go into your control panel Go into uninstall a program and find your antivirus in here. Okay, I can't really help you with this because this really depends on which antivirus you're using. But if you're using something else, you need to go ahead and right click it and click on uninstall. Okay, or if you know how to disable that antivirus, you can go ahead and disable it. And then add this folder to the exclusions that way. Okay, so that's completely up to you. I can't really help you out with that. Um, but I would recommend just using the default Windows Defender virus and threat protection. Okay. Um, anyway, so once you go ahead and open this folder up uh, and go into the Fluxus folder, 
you will see the fluxes application right here okay so go ahead and double click that and it will bring up the installation um, or the installer it's like that so it's opened up just there uh here just go ahead and click on next um and then you can choose where you want to download fluxes okay so for me i'm just gonna choose this so it will download it in this folder if you want it to download somewhere else you can do that but i would recommend keeping it in one place if you do choose another um pretty much place to download it uh then what you need to do is add that folder to your exclusions once again okay so that's like a longer step so that's what why i would recommend choosing the top option and you will see it download in this folder over here it says it will open up in five seconds so i can go ahead and close out of that and we can wait for fluxes to then open again if it doesn't open for you i believe i just closed the application so it won't open for me but then you can go into this folder and launch this right here okay and that will open up the fluxes application for you so every time you open up fluxes it will open up the application when you do open it it will actually ask you to get a key okay so i've already gotten my key so it's not asking me for the key again but if it does ask you for the key um it, it will open up a little window and it will say enter key and then you can press another key which says or you can press another button which says get key when you press get key it will take you to this page right here over here make sure you don't have any ad blocker or this will not work go ahead and click over here so let's go ahead and do this real quickly there we go and we're gonna do it again usually you kind of have to wait a couple of seconds once you check them uh, otherwise even if you do them right it doesn't let you prove it so again once you get onto this page make sure your antivirus or sorry your uh, ad blocker is off then go ahead and click on free access this will take you to checkpoint one okay and let's go ahead and close out of that so there's three checkpoints in total this is checkpoint two um it's making me pretty much do these really quickly because i've already done this a few minutes ago um but if it does ask you to install a browser or uh, when you click over here it asks you to um view an ad for maybe 10 seconds then you need to do that and then you can continue okay i've already done that um before starting the recording so um it doesn't ask me to do that and once you do all of the steps it will give you your key okay so don't try copying this key um this will expire um so what you need to do is when you do the steps it will give you your key and you click on copy key and that will then copy it for you and then you can go back and paste the key and click enter and that will go ahead and start your fluxus application just like this once you have started your fluxus application then you can jump into any roblox game okay so let's go ahead and jump into a game and i will show you how to inject the executor and how to get it working all right so here we go we're jumping into lumber tycoon right now um and this will not give you the 268 error either okay so sometimes it gives you the hardware id band for 30 minutes to an hour with this executor you will not experience that okay i've injected it multiple times in the last hour and it has given me or it hasn't sorry given me the error um for the 268 so you don't have to worry about that so once you do load into your game make sure you're fully loaded in then you can go back into your fluxus application and this will be the application it will look similar to this um over here you want to click on inject once you click inject you can see at the bottom right here um okay so you can see my antivirus actually deleted this uh, and that's what happens okay so let me go ahead and approve that uh, and let me make sure i've got this added to my exclusions um let me remove and then add the folder again there we go and there it is okay i think i, I didn't do it right the previous time i've got multiple of them added because i was just making sure i've got all the testing and everything done to make sure it's working uh, and you can see i've got my real-time protection on and if i do inject again it should work this time there we go um and it's, it's giving me the same error again that's not good it does say fluxus has injected and it's giving me the same error so i'm going to allow it uh I'm, what i might have to do in that case is go ahead and click on add exclusions and i might have to instead of folder if you do experience the same thing that i'm experiencing guys then you can do it my way so let me go ahead and go into fluxes over here and then add the actual application as well into my exclusions so you can see fluxes slash fluxes and then version 7.exe and now if i was to click inject it's, it has already injected but i'm just trying this um just to kind of you know reassure you that it is working you can see i'm not getting any sort of error this time and it has injected uh and we're good to go over here 
you've got of course the script hub so it's a built-in script hub and you can search for any script for any game here um for example if i search for lumber tycoon 2 uh, it will give me lumber tycoon 2 scripts like this um, if you go into settings now you can also turn on auto attach and i would recommend doing that um, over manually injecting if, you, if I was to toggle this feature on, it will automatically inject the Fluxus application into my Roblox so I don't have to click inject. Topmost, um, I would recommend using topmost because uh, usually if I open something else up like this and I drag it over on this, or if I click on the game, this will disappear. So if I turn this off and I click on the game, you can see Fluxus has now disappeared and I have to bring it back up. But if I turn this on and I'm clicking my game, nothing happens and Fluxus stays on top, okay? So that's a pretty cool um, thing that executors have. Um, and, you know, if you're going back and forth trying to grab scripts, uh, it's better to have this on so you don't have to keep going back between two different um, file locations, okay? Uh, you've also got the internal UI. Um, so by using this feature, you get access to a UI or user interface inside the Roblox client. So this is recommended if you're trying to exploit safely, you must have Fluxus open to use this feature. I have no idea what this actually does, um, but it does sound pretty cool. So I will turn it on for next time. Um, so I guess it will open up Fluxus inside of Roblox. So it might, be, you know, it might be like a part of the Roblox game um so that way it's less suspicious i'm not quite sure but it does say it's more safe um so you can use this if you do usually experience the um the 268 error for example okay um and now this is where you can get some more information so it tells you make sure your antivirus is disabled fluxus needs your antivirus to be disabled because it gets flagged due to the nature of dll injections okay so having an active antivirus can cause injection to fail so keep that in mind that's why you know i was having that error where i was trying to inject and it still kind of didn't allow me to do that um, but you know how to add exclusions you know how to disable your antivirus so you should be good to go um, crashing or freezing this can also happen if your script is not working so make sure that if you're trying to use a script and it crash crashes your application then maybe switch to a different script and see if that works um, and then you've got a bunch of different things that you can read through if you want here you can actually design your own uh, theme or you can use custom made themes by uh, other users so you've got boris johnson right there you've got bob the builder um and yes yeah, so it's completely up to you if you want to do that um so let's go back over here so if you do have your own script you can go ahead and just copy and paste that script into here um, you can save or you can click open if you have the script saved somewhere and then you can paste the script in here and click run and that will execute that script. Uh, in my case, I do also want to show you that it does support Owl Hub. So let's go ahead and search for Owl Hub. Um, and if I go and, for example, single click this, you can see that it opens up Owl Hub and it is fully working. Um, here we go. So visuals show. Okay, there we go. And let's also turn on aimbot. Again, this isn't one of those games that you actually need aimbot in. Um, but you can see it's locking onto that player um, wherever I go. So that's pretty cool. Um, so it does support Owl Hub. So if you do play Arsenal, for example, Owl Hub is one of the best scripts for, for that game. Or even Phantom Forces, you could use this in Phantom Forces as well. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much the showcase for the Executor, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.